looking? Welcome! Today's workout is my BOSU ball strength workout. So no cardio, all strength. You will need a BOSU ball and one heavy dumbbell. Now with that said about the BOSU ball, you could also do this workout without one as well. You can't get away with that, but you do need that dumbbell. All right, grab your gear, let's go. Hey there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and today on the agenda is a BOSU strength workout. So put your dumbbell off to the side, we're gonna get warmed up and then we will start the workout. Here we go, let's get our feet hip width apart, shoulders rolled back and down and then big arm circles, get those shoulders woken up. So this is a nine exercise workout. We have three different sections that we're breaking it up into and then three rounds of 45 second moves. So we'll flow through the movements kind of like a circuit, but it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna train every muscle you have. Last three, two, one. All right, arms extend out, give me a squat and then lift up off the heels. Now take a look, make sure those feet are shoulder width apart, bums going back, knees tracking with the toes. Now, as I said, you could do this workout without a BOSU. So if that's you, you're gonna stay on the ground when we're on the BOSU for some of the moves and you know, you'll just work it out. I know you will, you're smart like that. Last four, three, two, one more, one. All right, get back one foot on your BOSU behind you, nice and tall on the body, drop down for a lunge and straighten that front leg and do it again. So warming up into the legs further, into the hips, chest lifted, getting that blood pumping. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. So happy to have you. I clean the place up for you. <laughs> Actually, we did have a cleaner in earlier. <laughs> so it is pretty clean. Last three, two, and one. And then on the weekend, I get my walls painted. Yay! Here we go. Same colors, <laughs> but we are just going to get rid of the matte white on the top because that was a really stupid type of paint for me to buy on a gym. If I were to zoom in, you would see fingerprints everywhere because matte doesn't clean well. It doesn't scrub well. It's a really stupid choice for a commercial space, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> so I'm paying the price now this weekend. Good, get an eggshell up so that we can clean these walls. Last three. I'm a really good trainer. I'm a crappy painter <laughs> and release. All right, grab a sip of water. We are gonna get busy with the strength workout. Okay, we've got three moves. First move on the BOSU, forearms. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You start in a plank position. From this position we plank up leading with one arm and then the other arm. So we'll alternate. Now if that's not going to work for you, if you need to tone it down a bit, on your knees please and same move, keep the tush down. All right and as I said this move would actually work really well without a BOSU. Secondary move, Bum just off the ground, hands light behind the ears, abdominal crunch up. To modify, cross the hands at the chest. Final move, we'll use the dumbbell for more intermediate advanced people. Standing on top of the BOSU, drop down for a squat and drive up. Dumbbell's optional on that one. Three rounds, 45 seconds. So let's get our gear, let's get our game faces on. First move is that alternating plank up. Here we go. Forearms on your BOSU or on the ground. On the knees or the toes. Plank up and then other arm. Lead with the next rep. Now while you do this, I want you to keep those hips quiet so the feet are apart, the hips aren't rotating. We've got a lot of core here. Muscles being trained as well. Triceps, chest, shoulders. Crunches coming up. My BOSU ball is really squishy. I think it needs some air. Chest right over that BOSU logo, okay? Or maybe you have a BOSU knockoff. Over the knockoff logo then. <laughs> Hopefully you don't. Done. 
All right, here we go. Now, when we do the crunch off the ball, we want to be able to take the body back but still keep the feet on the ground. Chin slightly tucked in. Exhale when you lift up. If this is too much, as I said, cross your hands at your chest. Okay, if you're on the ground, you would do a floor crunch. So the BOSU allows you to go further back, okay, creating more abdominals, firing up more abdominals when we crunch up. Standing on top of our BOSU for that squat pattern, coming up. Yeah, there's one guy who's coming in to repaint the studio. One man, one powerhouse man, time. Whoa, come on, BJ, get up. He says it'll only take him two days. It's impressive. All right, get your feet on top of the bow suit, okay? If you're holding onto a dumbbell, like so, drop down and drive up. Now you're on an uneven surface, I don't have to tell you that, so once you've seen the move, I want you to find something stationary to look at to help with your balance. As you drop down, bums pushing back, good job, not rounding in the back. Woo! Yeah, this BOSU ball is horrible. I should have checked this sucker out before we started filming. It needs air. It needs some love. What have my instructors been doing to these BOSU balls? Done. All right, so that's the first round. We have two more to go. Let's get ourselves back to those alternating plank ups. On the forearms, knees to modify. Plank up. Lead with the other arm. Yeah, so one man, I think he's like 5'3". <laughs> he's a painter that my husband uses a lot. My husband's a handyman and he refers to this man a lot. <laughs> he's just a little guy. He's gonna, he's gonna be busy. These walls are a mess. <sighs> Woo! Now, this is a double whammy for the abs, okay? We got abs here, and then we'll flip over time right now and work the abs again. Yes, I programmed it that way. Here we go, knees bent, hands light behind the ears or across at the chest. Exhale, curl up. Don't wanna feel this in your low back. If you do, don't go as far back, okay? Just in the abs. I hate painting. I've done enough of it. I really have. Every room in our house I've painted. Numerous different personal training and fitness studios. Uh, you get a little older, you realize it's just money well spent to hire someone. Time. How about you? You like painting? Huh? Actually, the painting's not that bad, is it? It's the prep work that's a bitch. Here we go. On top, squat. And I'm a super messy painter, so I have to tape. See if you can go down as low as the elbows touching the tops of your thighs. All right, and same goes if you're not on a BOSU, all right? Nice deep squat, train through full range of motion, get those quads fired up, and then drive up, squeeze the tush, get into the bum, hamstrings. Dumbbell held close to the body, we're not stressing the back. Okay, one more round through. Plank ups coming up. Forearms, knees or toes, your choice.
Oh yeah. It's getting hard now, huh? Third round's the charm. Oh, here we go, crunches. All right, ready, go. Last one here. I can feel all the coffee sloshing around in my gut. <laughs> That's my pre-workout workout drink. Got coffee. Train like a champ. <laughs> twist your ankle. Okay, it's kind of a fine line with the BOSU. Now if you feel your feet fired up, that's normal. We're using a ton of muscles to try and stabilize here. So in fact, if you have been plagued with plantar fasciitis in the past, doing BOSU exercises, especially barefoot, will help strengthen the connective tissue in the feet. So that's good stuff. Almost there. Done. All right, we need the heavy dumbbell for the next series of moves. Working into our back muscles to balance out those plank ups we just did. So I'm gonna situate one foot on top of my BOSU, lean forward, perform a one, one arm row. So again, you could do that without a no BOSU, right? Other arm will do. Secondary exercise is a back twist. So we're going to hit into the back muscles and into this area here, kind of the muffin top area. All right, I will situate myself on top of the BOSU so I can go over the BOSU but my feet stay on the ground. From this position, I lift up, twist, look over one shoulder and down. Alternating the sides. So that can easily be done without a BOSU as well. You just won't lift as high. All right, gang. Let's go. Three rounds. Here we go. Hip hinge. So we want neutral spine. Lean into that front th thigh to support your low back. Now pull the arm up, elbow brush by that rib cage. Good job. Slow and controlled. So if you can go super fast and get a ton of reps in, I need you to grab a heavier weight, sister. These are big muscles, so you want to think big weight. Fatigue them, get them stronger. Shoulders are squared. Good. Somebody's phoning me right now. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Nobody ever calls me. Honest, right? We all text. We all text and email. The only time people call me is when I'm filming. Done. Other arm. And because nobody calls me, I never think to put it on vibrate. <laughs> so. Yeah, here we go, lean forward. Ready, and pull up. Lengthen that spine, we don't wanna round the back. I've chatted before about this in other workouts. Whatever posture we set ourselves up in is what we're gonna strengthen in, right? So if I round my spine and start my lift, I'm gonna encourage that rounded spine, which isn't optimal for the back. So get ourselves set up, neutral spine, and then start your lift. Yeah, I very rarely use my phone to talk to people. <laughs> Don't call me, text me. Done, okay, the back twist. So, we want the hips on top of the BOSU. Legs are fairly straight, tuck your toes in and dig into the ground. Hands up, now up and twist. So it's not a big twist, now lower down. Forehead almost to the ground and lift and twist. If 
you want to make it a little bit more challenging, move forward more so there's more body weight as you're lifting up. Really good back extension move right here. Done. All right, second set. Here we go. Back to your row. Foot on the bosu. Hip hinge, neutral spine, arms straight, slightly ahead of your shoulder, pull up. Pulling up like you're starting a lawnmower. I turned my air conditioning off so you can hear me better and not the hum of the AC. The things I do for you. <laughs> getting a little warm in here. Time. True story. <laughs> here we go, other side. I got a squishy Bosu and it's warm in here. Oh my goodness. The day can only get better, eh? shoulder. You're going to feel in the smaller muscles first. So shoulder or biceps before you feel it along those big muscles down the sides of your back called your lats. Done. Okay, on to our stomachs again. Again, the Further forward you are, the more challenging the move, but you want to still be able to keep those feet on the ground. Up, twist. Twist. Almost there. Oh yeah, time. Man, it works the back, but oh, it feels good, huh? If it doesn't feel good, if there's pain, don't do it, okay? <laughs> don't do it. All right, last set, here we go. So if you encountered pain in that, I want you to get off the BOSU, okay? Bring your arms down by your side and just lift the chest up from there. So get rid of the weight of the arms. But there should be no pinching in the low back or pain with that. And that goes with all workouts. If you got pain, recheck your form. If it's still not working for you, get rid of the move. There's so many other exercises out there that will help you get strong without injuring you. My favorite saying here in the studio is to train smart, not stupid. Done. All right, other side. Lean into that thigh, neutral spine, and row. Pay attention to, are the shoulders squared? Don't allow that working shoulder to round forward when the arm extends.
Okay, take it down. Last one here, and again, if you're encountering that pain, no BOSU, arms down by your side and just lift your chest up. Otherwise, join me here. Time. Woo. All right, we got one more circuit of moves to do and then we are done. Grabbing the heavy dumbbell, we're placing the foot on the BOSU like we did in the warm up for a Bulgarian lunge. So, let's start so we're all on the same page here. Left foot on the top of your dome, dumbbell in the left hand. Other hand on hip, nice and tall on the body so we're not dipping forward. Lean back a bit and lunge down. Good. This front knee tracking with the toes. Trying to keep it lined up with the ankle. Upper body upright. Good. If you want, you can even bring your dumbbell up if you find that it's affecting your shoulder at all. Whew. Now, by holding onto the dumbbell too on one side, we're getting the opposite side oblique ab muscle fired up. So good stuff. You're welcome. <laughs> without the BOSU, okay? You would be in a stationary lunge position. Taking it back down to another abdominal crunch. We'll perform a crossover this time when the timer goes. Time. Okay, so just like that first crunch, okay? The bum down low so that when we go over the BOSU, the feet stay on the ground. Cross the hands to modify, otherwise hands light behind the ears. Now twist towards one side, really rotating through the waist. Back down, other side. If you feel your low back, what do you want to do? You want to sit down a little lower on the BOSU, a little closer to your floor, and don't go over the BOSU as much. Second set, coming up. Time. Okay, here we go. Lunge. Left foot on top. Left hand with the dumbbell. Lean back into that leg. Other hand on hip. Lower down. Feel those thighs. Yeah. We're making muscle right now. Can you feel it? <laughs> be near the end. Legs are burning. Time. Cool. Yeah. 
That one might leave a mark tomorrow. Just saying. Right foot, right hand, lean back, go. Losing my balance. Oh, time. All right, ab crossovers. Here we go. You choose which intensity is going to work for you here or hands behind the ears, and then give me a good twist pattern. Don't forget the twist. Keep a slight chin tuck so we're not leading with the chin or allowing that head to rock back. Ouch, that would hurt the poor neck. Don't do that. One more round to go. Time. Okay, here we go. Left leg up. Lean back, smiles on, let's do it. got some music on right now. <laughs> Drown out the silence. Oh. I can't have music on the channel. YouTube doesn't like that. Dime. Oh. Other leg. Here we go. Right leg up. Dumbbell right hand and go. If you find your balance is getting challenged, it's because we're fatigued. <laughs> balance gets tired just like every other muscle group in the body. So hang in there. This is our last set of lunges. Three rounds each side. Pretty epic. Whew. Done. Okay. Crossovers. And then we're done. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Twist through those waist muscles. Feel those abs fired up. Warm and toasty in those abs right now. Done. Woo. High five at home. All right, grab a sip of water. We need to do a few stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Okay, let's stretch into the hips here. Knee right on the center of your BOSU. Other leg, ankle ahead of the knee to begin with and then lunge forward, line the two up. Tighten that back glute and you should feel a nice stretch in that back hip. Take that back arm straight up and then lean away. 
It's a really nice hip flexor stretch. You need to lengthen out those muscles. They worked hard on those lunges we just did, the squats. This is also a great stretch to do too if you're prone to low back pain. Sometimes it's because these muscles here in the front of the body are tight. Circle this arm behind nice and slow. Yeah. All right, other leg. Ankle ahead of the knees, you're set up. Lunge forward, squeeze that back glute. Inhale the arms straight up, exhale, lean away. Ah, I love this stretch. I wonder if I could do a whole entire workout video of just this stretch. <laughs> could you imagine? It's 20 minutes of PJ stretching her hip flexor. Yeah, I don't think I would get many views. Circle the arm behind nice and slow. Have a seat on the BOSU ball for me. From this position, cross one ankle over the thigh and then push yourself towards that shin, getting into the glute and hip here. Yes, I don't have to tell you, you probably feel it right away as I do. Just breathe. Ideally, we wanna stretch after our workout, okay? Not before. You want movement, body weight movement dynamic stretching that's the best way to get the body ready for a workout and then afterwards by all means hold these static stretches to help relax the muscles get some length into them other side Woo. i keep forgetting i got a really tight right side and then i get into a stretch and i'm like oh yeah this side's tight. And release. All right, take both legs straight for me. And you're sitting on the top of the dome. Sit up nice and tall. Come forward. What we want to do is lengthen the back of your thighs and maybe even of the calves as well, but without rounding the back, okay? So you want to keep some length into the spine. And then just tilt forward, hip hinge we call it. Looking just past the toes, lengthening into those hamstring and calf muscles. Now, if you could be fairly flexible. <laughs> I'm not. If you are, by all means, go down and grab onto your toes. Or, with me here, hands on the mat. Release. Bring the insoles together. Open up the knees for butterfly stretch. Hands behind you. Push yourself forward. Again, we're keeping that neutral spine. Now, if you can maintain neutral, bring your hands in front and feel that stretch in the inner thigh. I find a lot of people are tight in this area, and the BOSU actually really helps if you are tight because it's bringing the tailbone up a bit, allowing a little bit more room in the hip. So if you like this stretch, just stay here. But if you want to try another stretch, <laughs> all right, knees are bent. All I simply want you to do is lift up nice and tall. Use one hand on the outside of the knee to help with some leverage to look over the shoulder into a spinal twist. Good. And then walk the other hand behind you, getting into the chest and shoulder. Release. Other side. Nice and tall on the body to start. Look over the shoulder. And release, feet apart, drop yourself down, head down, stretch the low back and upper back. And then round it up. And we did it! Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and I can let you know every time I drop a new workout. All right, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next sweat session. Bye! Woo! Hey, I forgot to ask too. Where the heck are you working out from? Drop a comment below. I would love to know where you're working out from. Awesome. Look forward to reading it. Bye.